Okay, so you know how the Google Pixels have that screen call feature to let you answer any incoming call with Google Assistant? Yeah, well you can do the same thing by downloading Context. You just decline the call whenever you think it's a scammer, and then Context will get activated to start asking the caller what their name is and why they're calling. You can even follow along with a live transcript. And if you decide that you want to talk to the person, then you can hit accept. It's that easy. The only catch is that it only works in the US, Austria, and Canada. Sorry to let some of you down, but hey, here's another Pixel exclusive feature that could work on your non-Pixel device. I'm talking about this beautiful Google Recorder app. It's been around for close to four years and still only works on the Pixel devices exclusively. Well, that's until now, because I, I found a loophole. If you download version 1.0.27 off APK Mirror, which I'll also link right below the like button, there is a huge possibility that it could work on your non-Pixel device. I mean, it's working just fine on my Galaxy S22 Ultra, even transcribing everything really well. But that's not to say that it'll work flawlessly on every device out there. And I know it's a super ancient version, but surprisingly, it still has most of the same features as the latest 4.2 version. The only thing missing is that you can't connect your Google account to back up everything to the cloud. But that may be a plus if you're looking at it from a security standpoint. If you'd rather download a similar looking third party app, Voice Recorder is your best bet. It's got the same characteristics, transcribes your recordings, and even lets you do a few extra things. The only annoyance is that some of these features, like cloud syncing, are locked behind a monthly paywall. But it's still a guarantee that it'll work on your phone. And if you haven't caught on yet, I'm showing off how you can get most of those awesome Google features that are exclusive to the Pixel phones on any Android device. And all I ask in return is if you can quickly drop a thumbs up, because most of these, they weren't easy to find, and it did take a lot of digging and searching. Speaking of digging and searching, how about that universal search engine? You know, the one on the Pixel launcher. It's one of the best for finding anything you'd like, not just on the web, but also within your apps and personal data. Well, by downloading Pixel Search, you can have that same exact universal search engine on any Android. It's got the same design, down to the most minor details. It's even got the same looking search bar widget. And what's even crazier is that it's much more powerful than the original Pixel Search. It can dig even deeper within your apps, pull up files within your internal storage, so just a lot more platforms to search on, and more. Plus it's completely free, so even more of a reason to replace that outdated search bar on your home screen. Now bringing it back to those phone calls, the Pixel 7 and 7 Pro had this really cool hidden trick. Basically when you enable the live caption feature within a phone call, and then tap on this little keyboard icon, you can start writing out your responses and have Google say them out loud to the other person. It's really cool. The latest Galaxy S23 devices can also do the same thing by selecting Bixby text call within an incoming call. But if you have any other non-Pixel device, you're probably out of luck. So what I recommend is downloading VoIP. This app lets you make phone calls and type out your responses without a problem. But here's the best part. It also uses AI to automatically handle any phone call for you. So you can just tell it to order a Big Mac combo from McDonald's for pickup and it'll do it. It's definitely not perfect, but the technology is there. Moving on, my all-time favorite Pixel exclusive feature is the Now Playing feature. I mean, the fact that I can quickly find out what those catchy songs are called within my lock screen without needing to open any apps or launch any voice assistant is such a convenience. And yet, no other phone out there has anything like this, not even remotely close. Luckily, I can use an app called Ambient Music Mod to get this same feature on any other Android and it works like a charm. It'll automatically recognize music on the lock screen, save a history of all the songs it found, and even lets me choose how the overlay looks on the lock screen, including the position. The only downside is that, unlike the Pixel's Now Playing feature, this app is limited to its database of songs, which is constantly growing, but also has to be saved locally on your device. And if you do decide to use this app, you need to enable it with the Shizuku app, if you aren't sure how to do that, watch my tutorial video in the cards above. Now whenever someone mentions Google Pixel, the first thing that pops in my head is their camera software. Somehow, after all these years, Google still manages to pull off some of the best photo processing on any smartphone, even with their unique modes like night sight or astrophotography. Well, thanks to some awesome developers, you can get that same Google camera app on your non-Pixel device. 
there's actually an entire website, which I'll link down below, with all the different Google camera ports. Each one is packed with its own unique set of goodies too. Some ports work better than others, and some even work better with Samsung phones, while others work better with OnePlus devices, or the Nothing Phone One, etc. They all vary in terms of features, compatibility, and functionality. You just need to dig around to find the best one suited for your phone. If you'd rather just get recommendations on which is the best one for your phone, XDA developers put together this great page where you can find Gcam discussion threads for each phone out there. I'll link both pages right below the like button. Another handy Pixel exclusive feature is Quick Tap. By simply double tapping the back of the phone, I can do things like open any app, take a screenshot, bring up the Google Assistant, and more. Well, if your phone doesn't have this feature, then you can download TapTap to obtain it. It works even better because it lets you launch many more actions like opening split screen, open your smart home controls, and more. On top of that, you can even do triple taps and even block the gesture in certain scenarios like when the screen is off or the keyboard is open. Works flawlessly and gets updated pretty consistently. Now, when it comes to the home screen, the Google Pixels are filled with unique features like those beautiful Google widgets. You get an exclusive weather pill, which as controversial as it sounds, I really dig its looks. And the battery widget to show you the percentages for all your connected devices. Well, if you like to replicate these on your non-Pixel device, there are a few ways to do it. The first is to use the ones that we created. I know that may sound cocky, but our team put in a lot of effort to create the same exact looking design and dimensions for these widgets, even making them color adaptive to match your wallpaper. The only thing we couldn't replicate is the battery widget, and this was because the KWGT app doesn't allow us to work with multiple connected devices. So we instead turned it into this device info widget where you can actively see your phone's battery, CPU, memory, and storage state. I think that's a pretty good compromise, and it's still got the same exact look. But we also created a ton of other Pixel-inspired widgets that look really amazing on any home screen, like this heavily improved at-a-glance widget or this funky music player with all those googly looks. All of these can be found on our Patreon, link down below, and we update this app with new widgets every two weeks. Another alternative is to use this app called Android 12 Widgets. It won't be exact replicas, but you'll still get that pixelized feel. Plus, it also carries some other good-looking widgets in there. Or you can also check out Uzuri 2, which has some familiar looking Google widgets in there, but with a spin of its own unique design. Made by the same developer who makes our widgets, Icarus. Now as for those wallpapers that are exclusive to the Google Pixels, our team also creates some beautiful backgrounds that are based on those walls. Our most recent release is inspired by Google's Motif walls. But of course, we provide many other styles to choose from, even for your desktop. Plus, we release new walls every two weeks only on our Patreon. Another alternative is to try out an app called Pix Wallpapers. They also got a ton of original Pixel-inspired walls that look great on the home screen. It just doesn't get updated that often, and some of those walls are often grabbed straight from the Pixels. Or if you prefer an app that carries most of the original Pixel wallpapers from even back in the day, you should download Pixel Walls. It's got everything from ancient devices like the Pixel 4a, to the newest phones like the Pixel 7. It's even got some of the past events and cultural celebrations, all to download for free. When it comes to icons, the Pixels try to theme them based on the colors of your wallpaper and darken them whenever you enable the dark theme. The closest icon pack I could find that matches them is Dynamic Material U icon pack. They're also circular, color adaptive, and can even darken, but it hasn't been updated for over a year, so, a much better recommendation is Pix Material U Light Slash Dark. They don't look exactly like the Pixel's themed icons, but they're close enough and support way more apps. As for the Pixel Launcher, the best way to replicate it is by downloading Lawn Chair 12. Even though it hasn't been updated in close to a year, it's still the closest thing we got. It's got the familiar at a glance widgets, app suggestions in the dock, the same themed icons, the Discover panel, a similar Google search bar, and more. It's not an exact replica, but it's good enough. Nova Launcher can also provide a Pixel Launcher experience, but it won't be ready out of the gate. You'll have to do some tweaking within its settings to get it just right. And a close third is Hyperion Launcher. This one is much more feature-packed than Launcher 12, but some design aspects of this launcher aren't Google-related. 
So we got the entire home screen and most of those exclusive features, but if you're carrying a Samsung, you can take things even further. I'm talking about changing the entire look of the UI, from the notifications, to the quick settings panel, volume panel, and even the system settings. All of this can't be pixelized. You just need to download an app called Hex Installer, which is basically a theming engine for one UI, enable it with the Shizuku app, and then download and enable this AOSP Hex plugin. It's easier said than done to apply it, but within the app, it shows you how to do it. Finally, if you want the ultimate Pixel experience without buying a Google Pixel phone, you can take the extreme route and flash a custom ROM. There are still plenty of AOSP ROMs out there that are actively being updated and come packed with all those Pixel exclusive features that I discussed in this video. The best custom ROM you should flash is Pixel Experience since it's got all the Pixel goodies, interface, and some extra mods. But Paranoid Android is also a great choice. Or you can even flash crazier custom ROMs like CR Droid or Dirtfest to let you unlock Pixel exclusive features that you would have never even thought of. Like in CR Droid, it lets you spoof your device to pretend to be a first gen Google Pixel. That way you can obtain unlimited storage backup within the Google Photos app. It's pretty insane. Anyways, click this video right here to see all the latest Android 14 features go head to head with the latest iOS update. And by the way, if I got you one step closer to that Pixel experience, please drop a quick thumbs up to show your support. Or a quick sub to the channel would also be cool because videos like this get released every week and you won't want to miss out. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Kapow!